True Tech Tools, quality tools, essential support. When it comes to refrigerant piping connections, swaging and flaring are the two most common that we deal with in the HVAC industry. So True Tech Tools has helped us out by putting a tool kit together that not only saves us money, but makes us more efficient and confident out there on the job site. So let's take a look at the tool kit. So in this kit, you get the Navac hydraulic tube expander and the battery powered flaring tool. So let's dive in each one of these and see what comes in the box. All right, I'm gonna start off with the Navac NEF6LM. This is their cordless power flaring tool. So when you open up the box, you're gonna get the paperwork, you're gonna get the main tool, a two amp hour battery, the charger, and you're gonna get a set of jaws. You're gonna get three quarter, five eighths, half inch, three eighths, and quarter inch. So that should pretty much cover you anything when it comes to flaring out in the field. So a quick hands-on first impression of the tool. This thing is solid. Once you get it in your hands, you'll, you can really tell that it's built really well and it's of high quality. So, and it's pretty simple to use and I'll show you in a demonstration later on. But once you get the jaw and you put it on the copper itself, you just slide it right into there. You lock it down, you'll press the button, it'll go through its cycle and then you just pop it loose, remove it and you're good to go. All right, so the next tool on the list is the Navac NTE11H. This is their hydraulic tubing expander. So let's say you're running some refrigerant piping and you need to extend some. And what you can do is use this tool, expand the end of the tubing, that way you can receive another piece and to extend it on out, you braze it and you're good to go. So let's take a look and see what's inside. All right, so in the box, you've got some paperwork. You've got the tool itself, which this thing is super robust. It's quite heavy actually, which I like. It's very, very sturdy in the hands. It's gonna come with the heads for inch and eighth copper all the way down to three eighths. You're gonna get a nice tubing cutter and a pipe reamer. So that's basically everything that you need in order to expand that tube. For this demonstration, I'm gonna be swedging some seven eighths soft copper. So you wanna grab your deburring tool and get this prepped before we can actually insert the tool. So you wanna remove that burr from cutting the copper, that rolled over piece of copper there. And once you've got that nice and smooth, you can grab your tool, put on the 7 8 head, just hand tighten it, and then you can insert into the copper. Wanna make sure this knob is all the way tightened, and then you can start squeezing the hydraulic tool. And as you can see, I'm using one hand on 7 8 copper and it's starting to get really tough. So that tells me that it's finished. So now I can loosen this knob and there you go, it just comes right off. So what we can do now is take the other piece of copper and we can test fit it. There we go, that's perfect. And with this hydraulic tube expander, it just makes your job super easy. As you can tell, I did that with one hand on 7 8 copper and it did a fantastic job. So now I'm gonna demonstrate a flare on some 3 8 copper with the cordless power flaring tool. So you wanna grab your deburring tool from the hydraulic kit because you're gonna to need to prep this copper just like you did before. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Again, the reason we're doing this is because when we cut this copper, it rolled over inside the pipe and we wanna get rid of that before we make our flare. So now that I've got that deburred, I just wanna go ahead and grab your tool Go ahead and insert the battery. And we're dealing with 3 8 copper. So we wanna grab the 3 8 jaw. Now on the jaw itself, there is a built-in stopper. So you can slide that in and out of the way. So right now we're gonna move it out of the way. You wanna go ahead and insert the copper into the jaw and slide the stopper over and then push the copper in until it hits that stopper. And then you know the depth is perfect. Once you've got that in line, you want to take the jaw and insert it into the tool. You can feel it kind of snap in. And then there's also some lines and arrows that line up as well. Once you've got those lined up, you know you're fully seated into the tool and you can go ahead and clamp it down. Then there's a button right here. It's all you need to do is push that button. It's going to run through its cycle forward and then all the way reverse. Once it stops, you're good to go. Just unclamp it, slide it out, and inspect your flare. Man, that looks really good. 
These tools are super high quality. I highly recommend picking up one of these kits and putting it on your truck.